so excited that your child is going to start in kindergarten with us, and we wanted to take this opportunity to share some important information with you. We know it can be nerve-wracking whenever you send your baby off to school for the first time, and we wanted you to know that your child is in good hands, and we look forward to working with you this year. My name is Shannon Mays. And I'm Jessica Cox. I'm Sarah Fleshman. I'm Leah Becker. And welcome to kindergarten. I'm Ms. Cox, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what your child needs to do before coming to school. One of the things that we really need you to focus on is separation anxiety. It's really nerve-wracking, you know, when the kids are first starting school and they've never been away from their mom. So just really start talking to them about how they're going to be coming to school, the teacher's going to take care of them, and, you know, start practicing them being away from you and listening to other adults so that, you know, when they come to school, it'll be second nature to them. They'll be able to listen to directions and be able to do what the teacher's asking. Um, start working now on the writing their first name, um, using the first letter as uppercase and the rest of the letters lowercase. Talk to them about the letters that are in their name, that way that when they come to school they can go ahead and start rewriting their name. Work on choosing a hand for writing and cutting. They should be able to decide which hand they're going to use when they write and cut. Whichever one is easier for them or more natural to them. Also, work on buttoning and snapping jackets and shirts, being able to put on their jacket by themselves, their backpack by themselves, um, taking care of bathroom needs. We're not allowed to go in the bathroom with them, so they really need to be able to make sure that they can go to the bathroom, wipe themselves really well, clean themselves um, before they even come to school, being able to pull up their pants and all those things. Talk to them about in the bathroom, you know, we don't have to take all our clothes off. I know that sounds silly, but um, not taking all their clothes off, keep, you know, and then pulling them back up before they come out, closing the bathroom door, all those things. I know um, at school it's a little different than at home, but we need to make sure that those needs are met at school. Also, being familiar with letters and numbers through 10. They need to know that a letter is a letter and that numbers are numbers. They don't need to know all their letters, but the more letters that they know before coming to kindergarten, the better off they will be. Um, also, they really need to make sure that they are speaking to adults, any adult in our school, that ask them a question, not ask them their name, um, things like that. They need to be able to answer that adult. I know a lot of kids are shy and really nervous, but it's really important because they need to be able to tell us what their needs are, they need to go to the bathroom, and things like that. And we have some kids who don't talk to us, and it's, you know, it's really important that they know that this adult here is, is here to help you. Please talk to them. After your child has been assigned a teacher, you will be contacted by that teacher about a staggered enrollment schedule. So that first week of school, not every child comes every day, okay? So your teacher will send you a schedule, your child, um, on which days your child will come, and then they will let you know which days that will start coming every day. Hi, I'm Ms. Fleshman. And I'm going to be talking to you about some behavior and procedures that we have in our classroom. Um, we, as teachers, each have rules and consequences in our classroom. We know that coming from a home setting to a school setting can be quite the transition. So if you would please start talking to your child about things that they need to be doing in the classroom, such as asking to go to the bathroom, asking to leave their seat, and making sure that they follow all directions from adults, that would help us out a lot. Um, we also want you to know about folders and planners, our main way of communicating with you all. So your child will get a folder and your child will get a planner. Um, in our planner, this is where we communicate any behavior issues, any important information will be written in this. If you will look at it and sign it every night, um, you, we write back and forth to each other. It's just an easy way for us to communicate. Your child will also be getting a folder in the folder they have a side where papers come home and they stay home, and they have a side where papers come home and that they need to be returned back to school. Um, your child may be, have to send in money for yearbooks, for ice cream money, whatever the need. Um, if you'll put it in an envelope with their name on it and label what it is for so we know. Um, and just another reminder that there are several students in a class and only one adult, so please be working with your child on being patient, um, with the teacher and things of that nature. Also in your child's folder, if they are absent one day and you have a note, you have a doctor's excuse, if you will put that in their folder 
That way it comes to us and we can get that to the office for you. Um, also, not only is your child's folder good for holding their things, but on the back of your child's folder in this back pocket, we'll be putting any study items um, such as letters and numbers, um, sight word books. If you will be sure that you're practicing these every night with your child, um, and if you'll be sure that you're practicing sight words out of order, because these kids have a really good memory, and so they can memorize them straight down. So if you'll try and be practicing those out of order, this is something that they need to know before they go to first grade. So you will be working on that with your child as well. Hi, I'm Miss Decker, and I'm gonna be sharing some more important information with you all. First, I'm gonna continue talking about communication. We use Class Dojo or Remind 101 to communicate with you as well as the planners. Um, each teacher has their own account and you will be getting an invitation to sign up for Class Dojo or Remind 101 through either a text message or a paper that we will give your child. Please sign up for these. It is very important that you are signed up and able to get the messages and reminders that we will send through these apps. Next. Um, I want to talk about bringing a change of clothes. Please send in a change of clothes for your child, a full change of clothes. Um, even if you think they're fully potty trained, sometimes accidents happen and maybe they have to wait before they can go to the bathroom or they might spill something on themselves or if they get sick. It is just really important to have a change of clothes in their cubby that they can change into if anything like that were to happen. Next, we have snack every day, please send in one small healthy snack such as um, fruit gummies or goldfish, just anything like that. We don't recommend sending in candy. Um, also, please don't send in juice boxes or juice packs because we let you send a reusable, small reusable water bottle that they can easily open and close and we also ask that you please put water in the bottle instead of coke or milk or juice and we also ask that you don't send in water bottles like this because sometimes it's hard for them to open the bottle and then it's hard for them to put the lid back on there correctly and if it spills over in their backpack or it spills on their papers and it's just hard to clean up, so we really recommend sending in a reusable cup. Um, next, your child will have gym two days a week, and we ask that they wear tennis shoes on both of these days, and your child's teacher will be sending a schedule so that you know which days they have gym, so you know when to send them in tennis shoes. And last, I'm going to talk about dismissal and we really ask that you try to keep it consistent and that they go home the same way every day. If you do have to change how they get home, please call the office or put a note in their folder or their planner because we check those every day and we just want to make sure your child gets home safe and sound. Hello, I'm Shannon Mays and I want to share some information with you that will help your child have a successful year in kindergarten. One of the biggest things we want to share with you is how much kindergarten has changed in the last few years. Um, I think whenever we look back on our experience in kindergarten, we remember praying a lot and things like that. And we try to make learning as fun as we can, and we're going to have a lot of fun this year. But kindergarten has changed a lot. Uh, the students that we send on to first grade are really expected to be able to read and be really good at reading. So that's going to be our main goal this year. So some of the things we're gonna be working on this year is whenever your child comes in, if they um, would be able to write their first name, that would be very helpful and we'll be working on them writing that name nice and neat as the year goes on and then we'll add their last name to it. We're also gonna be working on the letters and letter sounds. It's important that they know the letters out of order and can tell us what sound the letter makes. It's not just them being able to sing the ABCs. And we'll kind of show you a little example of that at the end of this video. They also need to know the numbers 1 to 20 and be able to recognize them out of order and be able to count objects. We're also going to be working on reading. As I said, that's our main goal is to get them be able, able to read by the end of the year. So the more letters that they know before they come into kindergarten or as quickly as we can get them knowing those letters and sounds, the better reader they're going to be. 
they're expected to be able to read over 100 sight words before they go on to first grade. So this is a big skill. So we will be working on that and they'll usually have about four or five words a week that we're working on here and we ask that you practice those at home. It's important that they practice them out of order uh, so that they don't just memorize the order that they're in in their sight word book. Um, also, we'll be working on writing sentences. We'll be working on beginning uh, the sentence with a capital letter and ending it with a period or a question mark. And we're just going to be using those sight words to be uh, to help us with our writing and also using those letter sounds to sound out words that are hard for us. And we're going to be working on counting to 100 by ones, fives, and tens. And then one of the things that you can do to help your child succeed is just reading with them every night and then talking with them, asking them questions about who the characters are in the story, what happened in the story, and things like that. You also can just talk with them and do some games with words. You can ask them what the beginning sound might be in a word. Like if I said cat, what's the beginning sound in cat? K dog. What's the beginning sound in dog? D also, we do something called segmenting, where they just break the word down into sounds. Like, for instance, for dog, it'd be dog. So this is a skill that can be practiced in English or Spanish. We want your child to have a wonderful year in kindergarten, and we want to be a team with you. So we want to communicate with you as much as possible, and we want to work with you. And if we work together, then we know that your child's going to have a great year and a wonderful start to their school career. So we look forward to working with you, and thank you. This time, tell me what sound it says.